This weekend, the Winnipeg Symphony Orchestra presents a concert featuring pianist Yanina Fiakovska, who will be performing Paderewski's Piano Concerto. Also on the program is Mendelssohn's Symphony No. 3, the Scottish Symphony, and more. At the helm is New Zealand-born conductor and director Gemma New. Currently, she is the music director of the Hamilton Philharmonic Orchestra, the first female conductor ever named to the post. She's also the resident conductor of the St. Louis Symphony Orchestra and music Music director of the St. Louis Symphony Youth Orchestra, and she was just recently appointed principal guest conductor of the Dallas Symphony Orchestra, a position, a position that she will assume in the 2019-20 season. Welcome to Classic 107, Gemma. Thank you, Claudia. That's quite a list of orchestras that you're involved with. How do you uh, do it all? Uh, well, you take one step forward at a time, but... Um, I love working with orchestras regularly and uh, forming a relationship with them. So uh, I know St. Louis Symphony and Hamilton Philharmonic uh, very well now, and uh, it's just a real joy to work with them. And then the Dallas Symphony will be a new position next season. So I look forward to that. Exciting. Very yeah. exciting times for you. And, uh, and, and you find time to do guest <laughs> performances uh, like here in Winnipeg. This is the first time that you're going to be conducting the Winnipeg Symphony Orchestra. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Uh, you know, it's wonderful to be able to look at the year and to try and fit everything in. So I have 18 weeks of guest conducting this wow. season. And every year is a different adventure. Uh, but it's always wonderful music and inspiring musicians and exciting audiences as well. So it's a, it's a really fantastic. Career. I'm always intrigued by how conductors are able to fly into a city and take over a new orchestra so often. Um, if you are a music director, you need to have uh, the leadership vision, artistic vision for the orchestra long term. Uh, if you come in as a guest conductor, it's a different set of skills. It's for the week, um, and you have a vision for the program, um, but you come and have a conversation with the orchestra and see how we can all play this together in the best way for that performance. So it's, it's very much teamwork. I like that. That's a great way to describe it to uh, to listeners. Um, you've been playing music since you were a very young child, five years old. I think you started uh, the violin. Is that right? Yes, uh, violin and then piano a bit later. I loved playing in orchestras, Claudia. That's what I really. That's when I fell in love with music and wanted to, to do it for the rest of my life. I didn't know how, um, but. Uh, it's that idea of everyone coming together with the gifts that they have and uh, the idea that no one can create orchestral music, uh, a performance by themselves. We need everyone there. And I think that's a really beautiful part of humanity and society, what we can create together. That is. I love that. So how did you go from being a performer in an orchestra to now being at the helm of an orchestra? Uh, well, when I was about 12, I became fascinated with uh, conducting uh, and seeing. We had three different conductors at my youth orchestra, and they had very different effects on the orchestra, all very positive. Um, but it was just very interesting to see how their personalities brought a different side of the music. And so I always wanted to be a conductor. I found that really fascinating. And at school, uh, I had an opportunity when I was 15 to give it a go. Um, and... Uh, you know, I was always told, well, you need to learn your instrument to the best level possible and keep playing, getting that experience playing in the orchestra and learning as much repertoire by these composers. Uh, so, you know, it's always a long journey. Uh, and uh, step by step, you gain a lot of um, knowledge and experience along the way. I have to say, though, uh, I mean, it goes without saying that uh, being a conductor for a woman is not something that we often see in this particular part of classical music. Who were some of the people or some of the conductors that you looked up to growing up? Was there anyone that inspired you that you wanted to be like or? Yeah, um, I think there are a lot more female conductors out there now. And yes. it is becoming the norm, which is really just fantastic. Um, I wish it would just be uh, not an issue so that we could really just enjoy the music and, and be um, on uh, focusing on that. Um, but, uh, you know, when I was growing up, uh, I had some really fantastic mentors. Um, 
uh, some people who gave me opportunities to conduct uh, when uh, they wanted to sit in the hall and listen to the balance or, or and who gave me great uh, insight into how they learn scores. Um, and so I, I'm absolutely indebted to them. Um, it, you know, uh, I, I don't think you know them, but Australian conductors Tom Woods, Brian Buggy, when I was starting out in New Zealand, um, I got my first job when I was 19, and it really was a little bit of baptism by fire. I mean, I, I wow. was trying to figure out how to be a conductor um, with this. It was a youth orchestra, and um, what I learned uh, was, you know, a conductor is not necessarily the person who needs to know everything. It's it, and and to tell people what to do. It's so that um, to facilitate um, the uh, interpretation coming together um, from everyone, and so that we can all f- express um, it in the best way possible this music. So uh, I, I kind of learned that a little bit earlier on, and and uh, and then coming to the states, I had a really fantastic teacher, Gustav Meyer, Mark and Thacker at Peabody, uh, and many many uh, conductors who have assisted along the way. What would you tell a young person now who is thinking that being a conductor is something they'd be interested in? Any advice? Uh, I think, you know, advice is always uh, very general or um, it would be more helpful if it was specific to to the young conductor in in question. But, um, you know, keep uh, learning, being curious, asking questions, uh, listening very carefully uh, and uh, have that passion. I'm sure you'll go a long way. And if your experience is um, is anything, it's just do it. Yes, it does help to do, <laughs> to get that kind of experience for sure. <laughs> so let's talk about um, this weekend's concert. As you've so elo- eloquently put it, the job of the conductor is to, um, you know, translate their take on a piece and to work collaboratively, collaboratively with the orchestra or the ensemble. So what can you tell us about what you're doing with um, Mendelssohn's Symphony Number no. 3? Yeah, well, we have uh, the Scottish Symphony, and uh, this is such a tempestuous piece. Uh, I think it's full of narrative and uh, character. Uh, I think it really vividly tells the story of Mary, Queen of Scots. Uh, each movement has a different focus point, a different portrait of of her life. Um, and Mendelssohn's style could be... Um, it could be played as a heavy German romantic uh, take on it, or it could be a little bit of a late classical, early romantic um, uh, style, which is a little lighter and uh, but with a lot of punch. And I think we're we're going for that this time. Nice. I look forward to that. Now we're also going to hear Paderewski performed by Yanina with the orchestra. But before we get to that, there is a third composer that I. Um, I will admit I left out uh, when I was introducing this because I don't know how to pronounce the name. (laughs) Tell us about the third work that uh, the orchestra will be doing. Yes, well, the first piece on the program is the Concerto for String Orchestra. It's by the Polish composer Grażyna Batsiewicz. Nice. And uh, she was granted a scholarship by Paderewski. Oh, Oh, Paderewski, sorry. (laughs) Uh, And... uh, it was to go and study in Paris with Nadia Boulanger and to study composition. And uh, so there's that nice connection there uh, that he supported her career. Um, she's a, a leading voice in, in Polish music. Uh, they uh, perform a lot of their, her works in Poland and also around the world. This is a very popular piece. What can you tell us about this piece? Uh, this piece is very strong and powerful. That's a kind of the first impression I have of it. Uh, it's based upon, um, like, say, Bach, Brandenburg concertos. Okay. Um, it's for string orchestra, so she uses uh, the the strings in, um, I wouldn't say, you know, very out there with uh, extended technique ways, but uh, she gets a lot of sound from them and uh, a lot of vigor. Nice. Yeah. Well, let's move on to Paderewski, and uh, this is the work that Yanina Fiolkowska, beloved Canadian pianist, will be performing with the WSO. We we certainly love her here at uh, Classic 107. She's been a guest of ours many times. Um, have you had a chance to work with Yanina before? And if not, what what has it been like for you? 
Yes, I love Yanina too. She's <laughs> fabulous. Uh, and I, I got to meet her when I first uh, got the job in Hamilton. Uh, it was four years ago, and she um, kind of sat me down and, and gave me some advice. And I was so grateful for it because uh, she's really kind, uh, very down to earth, um, exceptionally uh, talented and knowledgeable. And uh, I just think she's really cool. Uh, so this is a real pleasure to work with her as soloist and conductor and having this relationship. Uh, we worked on the piece yesterday. Uh, it went really well. Uh, and this piece uh, shows Yanina's virtuosity uh, and ease. Uh, and uh, the first and the third movement give uh, a lot of dance and folk melody. Um, the middle movement, which is a romance, is probably the most popularly played I heard from you, Nina, that it's performed on radio all the time because of its splendid beauty. Uh, and I think everyone's going to be touched by her lyricism uh, tonight. Wonderful. Well, we really look forward to this concert. And I thank you, Gemma, for taking the time to come to Classic 107 and uh, chatting with us. We appreciate it. And I wish it was a little warmer for you. <laughs> <laughs> it was an absolute pleasure, Claudia. 